Hold up, hold up. So, so y'all trying to tell me that these are grandma sneakers? We're gonna be talking about the Air Jordan 1 Flying It Royals. Tune in. Hey guys, welcome to Cost Station where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe, and if you're here for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and even that notification bell so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. What you've all been waiting for, the Air Jordan Flying It Ones in the Game Royal and Black colorway. Man, oh man, to me, these sneakers are dope Gucci. sauce. Uh, I don't understand why everybody is teasing this sneaker being a grandma sneaker, a sweater sneaker, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I think this sneaker is a dope shoe. So please, somebody out there, explain to me why these are a grandma sneakers, an L, et cetera, et cetera. I just, I'm just curious and I want to know. So let me know down in the comment section. So the inside of this sneaker has that nice quality leather that I really like when it comes to this particular Air Jordan 1 High. In addition to that, it is a very comfortable sneaker. You have on the tongue here, the really nice rubber-like material that's stretchy and that I like because it promotes more comfort to me. You have your wax laces there. The whole upper of the sneaker is covered in a black and game royal colorway. You have hits of leather. I don't know if that's real or not. It doesn't seem to be too real, but on the Nike logo, you have those hits of leather. On the lateral portion of the shoe, you have this Air Jordan insignia on the upper portion of the sneaker. And all in all, to me, it is a dope shoe. The bottom, of course, is made up of that synthetic rubber that we know is associated with Air Jordan 1s. Sizing wise, I would go a half size down. That's for me personally, but these are still sitting in store, so you could go to the store and check them out and see what your particular size is in this particular sneaker. My only gripe when it comes to the Air Jordan 1 Flyknits is the price. I feel like 180 is way overpriced for this sneaker. It should have been no more than the 160 that usually comes with an Air Jordan 1s, but I really enjoy this sneaker. It is very comfortable. I've worn the stuffing out of my bread ones already, and I'm going to do the same with these. Actually, I've already worn these once. I was greedy and couldn't wait to wear them, and I really like this royal colorway. Like, royal colorway, bread colorway. You cannot go wrong with those colorways when it comes to Air Jordan 1 highs in general, especially when, in my opinion, these sneakers have been made very well. So my sneaker talk is up for today people please remember to like comment share and subscribe if i gave you some good information about the air jordan one flying it's also guys i really appreciate you guys for watching my video and for all of those people who have subscribed to my channel recently and also to all my og subscribers thank you so much but anyways guys stay tuned for the on feet and i'll see you all on the next episode of casa station deuces